Hello. Right. Hope you're well. Um, first things first, apologies again for the humongous gap in between this video and the last one. Uh, I've had uh, an extended Christmas break and I'm also in the process of moving house, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Um, but once I'm moved, I'm going to do more videos. I promise. Um, yeah, so I actually loaded up Nano Studio a couple of days ago for the first time in a long time and started on a track. Uh, it's all going well, and I got to a point where I was thinking I'm going to have to start bouncing stuff down to free up some tracks and uh, have to work out what I can get rid of, etc. etc. And then, pow, out comes the update in version 1.2. Um, yeah, it's sexy, it's good, it's nice, I like it. Um, so, I thought might as well do a swift video on just some of the features that have changed and some of the things that have been added. Uh, I was going to do a, well including this video, like a sort of drum and bass tutorial, how to write it on Nano Studio because a couple of people have asked me for it. Um, and a dubstep one as well actually. But because of the house move etc etc I'm not going to fit it in on this one but I will do those um, in the next couple of months I'd say at the at the, at the longest um, yeah so version 1.2 first and foremost it's got retina display support which makes it crisp it's lovely to look at um, even the loading up screen is nice um, not that it wasn't before, but it's just it's just added that sheen to it. Um, <clears throat> straight away in the menu, well, the first thing that confused me when I opened up in this screen, this has changed slightly. It's more that things have just been moved around, relocated, basically. Um, you've got all your uh, loop button up here and stuff instead of in this corner. Um, and the thing that you probably notice straight away is there's a whole lot more tracks here. Um, you can upgrade from 6 to 16 if you pay. I paid £2.99. pence. I think it's about $5 um, or whatever your currency of choice may be. Um, and it's well worth doing. I know I appreciate, I actually liked the challenge of working with six tracks. It made you think. Um, to try and squeeze a whole song into six tracks is um, it's good fun but there's also something to be said for having 16 tracks because you can really start like layering stuff up and um, just playing around with all sorts of stuff is it's quite crazy you can have 16 of these and then within each instrument you can have four tracks on the arrange page I'll show you that in a second, um, which I think it works out to something like 64 tracks in the sequencer, which is a whole lot. Um, and then throw in the TRG pads as well, you can put a TRG on all of these if you want, and that gives you some ludicrous amount of pads to work with. Um, so yeah, the possibilities have just expanded considerably. Um, uh, yeah, so on this page you've got the mixer button here. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, it used to be in Manage, but um, you can access it from here now. It's kind of how it was before. Uh, you've got your pans, your volume, and as you add more uh, tracks, channels in here, then you can move along with these buttons to see the channels. You can actually drag it as well. Um, also, you've got the effects uh, chain here as well now. You can put effects on each channel. So, you hit this button here. you got up to four effects. Um, to add an effect, you literally just hold your finger on whichever uh, block you want to put it in. And choose one. And there's a couple of new things as well. You've got a compressor, EQ, and then these three were already on it. But... Uh, 
delay, uh, distortion. I think there's a uh, there's a lo-fi thing there as well, a bit crusher, which I haven't played around with yet. Um, and reverb, and you just choose whichever one you want. So, da -da -da -da, just compressor, bang, and it puts it in this slot down here. Um, and then if you wanted to change the order of the effects you've got, you can just drag it to the next one and so on. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go through what how compressors work and everything on this video because I, I, can't, I understand it, but knowing me, it would take me forever to explain it. Um, and I'm sure there are some far better tutorials out there on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, sorry if you wanted a... a a run through of that. Um, da -da -da -da, right, okay, so yeah, you can add loads of effects on there. You can do things like doubling up distortions and stuff, which gives that like, an extra kind of different sound to all the presets. Um, yeah, so you come out of that one. Uh, same thing on here, if you want to add or change one of these instruments like you did with the adding an effect an effect uh, you hold your finger on the uh, slot and then choose what you want TRG or Eden you can even rename it as well which is useful keep track of what you're doing um, so you got another TRG there so then if you go into the arrange page um, yeah, you've got extra tracks. That's the one I just added. Um, most of this is the same, but down here you've got some extra bits and pieces. Um, and this button here expands it all so you can see what it does. Um, you've got your mute, mute button, mute that track. Solo, which just plays that, whichever solo light is highlighted, would only play that track. So you can solo one or just a few. And then the record arm button. Um, so, for example, if you remember beforehand, if you were doing the TRG, if you were recording on it, it would give you the option to record on channel 5 or channel 6. Here, you've got an add button and a delete as well. So, if I want to add an extra track, hit that, and then you've got two channels on that TRG there. So, it's the equivalent of that one that's highlighted with the, with the art, say that's channel 5 for example, it's not at the moment but as to relate it to what it used to be, um, and then if you wanted to record on channel 6, do that and then record on that one. Um, then you could add another one and another one, you can do four per instrument if you want to get rid of them. Hit the delete button, cool. Um, what else? What else have we got? Um, I would say the one thing that on the track I have been working on, in fact, I'll load it up. Somewhere around here. Come on. I'll do. Um, it's just, it's a little thing, but um, I've ended up with like a, a bass on that track and then the sub bass is way down here. Um, it's only because I added the sub a lot later, but I'd, if you think, it's, I can't work out a way to, I don't think you can actually drag the sub up to sit underneath that track or vice versa, so it's probably wise to... Um, just to have an idea of what, what instrument you want in each slot before you start adding random ones and so you can group them together just make it easier in the long run um, yeah and I will be posting this track, when this track's finished I'll stick it up on its own video on YouTube a um, little bit of a drum and bass number uh, yeah um, I'll give you a tiny little hint of it Yeah, you get the 
idea. Um, so that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, I just wanted to kind of highlight the, the new features. I know there are loads more. There's loads more stuff, and I've yet to sort of delve into that yet. But um, it's quite exciting because this has just rekindled my love for this program. I never, never ended up hating it or anything. I just have neglected it for too long now. So um, yeah, that's about it. I was going to cover the Nano Sync, which hey, let's try it. Let's try and fit it in really quickly. Um, just to transport, transfer uh, like samples from your computer to your phone or your iPod or whatever. Um, you need to have NanoSync here installed on your computer, which you get from blipinteractive.co.uk. Um, go to the downloads page, download NanoSync, um, and then you want to activate your uh, Wi-Fi on here which if I do this I've just got to cover up don't want everyone knowing my IP address you hit enable which gives you this uh, where are we? yellow light here um, load up if my mouse would work load up nano sync on my computer and this is where NanoSync refuses to work. Oh, no, it's not working. Okay, I may well give up on this, but I'll try once more. It's very temperamental. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Tell you what, I'm going to do this in a separate video once I've moved. So um, save me faffing around here. I hope this has been slightly helpful. If anything, um, I know it's going over a lot of stuff that's already in the program, but it's got a fresh sort of uh, look and feel to it now. So just to uh, give you the heads up on the on the main changes, um, if you've got any comments, any suggestions on videos that you'd like to see in the future please let me know um, I'll give all the usual spiel of uh, subscribe comment and like and all that rubbish um, please do if you want to if you don't, no biggie um, that's about it cool, have a great day <laughs> catch you later, bye bye